what you're looking at here is a 4x4 post that is connected to a structural hold down and a bolt that goes into the concrete foundation. Now the reason why I'm making the video is just to point out that this way right here seems like it's far superior. I hate to say that it is far superior, but it sure makes a lot more sense and would be more structurally sound this way where you have a post connecting to the sill plate and then the foundation instead of having a post like this sitting on top of the wall framing plates and then connecting to a bolt um, a hold down bolt and the hold down so if you have the opportunity to do something like this uh, instead of putting the structural posts on top of the foundation, on top of the base framing plate, it sure seems like this would work a lot better than it would sitting on top of the base plate. Now, remember, I am not a structural engineer. If your structural engineer designed the building to have these posts sitting on top of the base plates, you could always ask for a change or um, you better uh, do it the way that they have it and, and not like this. I actually um, suggested this to the structural engineer and they loved it. It was a little more work for us, but uh, realistically it wasn't that much more work. And uh, of course, I, I, I'm pretty sure that this is a little common sense here. You can see the benefits of having something like this connecting directly to the foundation um, or sitting on top of one base plate at least and then connecting to the foundation instead of having a base plate for a, a sill plate that for the foundation and then a rim joist and maybe a possible joist going in the other direction and then a base plate and your subflooring and then having a long bolt coming up through here this sure seems a lot more um, better a better way to do it than the older way and I'm pretty sure you're going to see something like this eventually replace the older methods in the future.